Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, we all know Harry and Meghan Markle have been living the Californian dream since their Megxit bombshell in 2020. However, Harry, in a recent court statement, claims that the United Kingdom is still his home and that he considers it central to the heritage of his children. Really, Harry? After all the talk about wanting a private life away from the royal spotlight. In this statement, Harry argued that he and Meghan were forced to step back from their roles and leave the country in 2020. But hold on a second, wasn't it just a few years ago that he stood at a charity event in London, claiming the decision to step back was not one made lightly? Now, it seems the narrative is changing and the victim card is being played with full force. Omid Scobie, royal expert and author of Endgame, dropped a bombshell when he revealed that Harry and Meghan might not have chosen to step back if a family member had stood up for them. According to Scobie, the couple felt Megxit wasn't necessary but was forced into it when they were left to fend for themselves against impossible circumstances, even during her pregnancy. The plot thickens. Buckingham Palace, on the other hand, maintained that senior royals were blindsided by Harry and Meghan's departure, stating, we understand their desire to take a different approach, but these are complicated issues that will take time to work through. It seems the conflicting narratives between the palace and the Sussexes continue to add fuel to the royal fire. Fast forward to February 2021, and King Charles III decides to evict Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage, giving the royal property to Prince Andrew. Stripped of their security due to no longer being working royals, Harry claims his family is not safe when they travel to the UK. In a petition from January 2022, he argued that they have faced well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. Here's the kicker. Harry is offering to pay for the costs of his security to avoid burdening British taxpayers. But one can't help but wonder, is this a genuine concern for safety or a strategic move to gain public sympathy? As we await the decision in Harry's security case, the questions linger. Is Harry's tearful victim game a well-orchestrated act? Are we witnessing a carefully crafted narrative aimed at portraying the Sussexes as victims of circumstances? Or is there a deeper truth waiting to be unveiled? So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.